Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another pick a card reading. In today's video we're going to ask Kat on what is the next relationship that is coming into your life. So whether it be love relationship, partnership, career related relationship or just friendship, we're going to find out by looking at four different options. So this time I've chosen a little bit different setting. So you have four oracle cards in front of you and I want you to look at the images and feel the one that calls you the most. So you're going to be choosing one card and I will be pulling cards for you. So this is going to be like a very nice experiment. When you choose one card I will be revealing you the hidden messages behind it as well and I believe that this way it's also a very important way to look into your subconscious and conscious level as well. So as for the option number one, we have the hawk. The up option number two, we have the horse. The third option is the owl. And the fourth option is the butterfly. You can stop the video right now to meditate and look at each card. And then we will start with the reading. Hello, option number one. This is going to be the reading for the ones that have chosen the hawk animal. So what message brings the hawk? Well, first of all, it says omens and messages. So how I would see this card for your reading, if we start off um, by looking at this image, is that this is your expectations, okay? So those are your expectations towards a new relationship. So omens and messages, it feels like you are kind of waiting for someone to reach you out. You're waiting for almost like a message from someone. So maybe you have someone in your mind already that you wish they would come to you or you have a person, let's say like an image or um, a type of person that you are interested in and this is kind of the illusion that you have and maybe expectation that you have so that they would come as you imagine them. So it could be applied really to different levels as well. So it could be love, career, but we will look into the cards and see what kind of messages really the hope brings you. So I'm going to start off by uh, mixing some, pulling some tarot cards for you uh, and we will see in depth what kind of relationship comes to you right now in the next upcoming times please for the hawk let's take a look i will leave the hawk in here so you can see and let's take a look on the card so we have the um, page of pentacles and we have ace of wands so definitely i see that we're speaking about a person that is perhaps related to either um job uh, area or some kind of job relationship kind of area so it may, might be someone from your job or your career or your studies that you are thinking about so maybe it's a person that you already know let's take a look at the other cards so we have 10 of uh, swords we have also page of um page of swords and we have the uh, hanged man okay the hanged man and i'm gonna pull out one more oracle just to finish off this really interesting sequence and we will start analyzing okay the spider okay so this is so interesting well first off uh, i really must say that i kind of sense that the person that you have on your mind is not something that is not existing i believe that the person already exists in your life so it could be again like a co-worker like uh, a fellow student or someone from your classroom or someone that is coming from kind of your job environment someone that you know maybe be a client, maybe from some specific field that you are in at the moment. It feels like there is something quite clear about the person, like there is a person that you kind of have in your mind. So um, you kind of wish this person to make steps. Um, why I say that this might be coming from your job related area, because um, I sense that 
next to the hawk you have the page of pentacles and this is kind of job related uh, person okay it's a little bit cold at the moment this relationship is a little bit cold i don't see that this person is having intentions to come to you with the love messages at the moment um if this is what you are expecting from this person maybe you are expecting some kind of love message from this person or some kind of love show uh showing to you but it's not really there yet i sense that this relationship that is coming to you is going to be purely um you know career related or money related relationship so not that much romantic relationship okay so for me this reading is definitely focused on creating not let's say loving relationship it's not about love but it's about the partnership but wait for it because this is something very important um i don't know what kind of expectations you have if we look at the oracle card so you consciously have chosen this card so you might be feeling that i want to fly high with this person i want to bring this relationship to the next level and this might mean that the person that you already know that is already in your circles maybe you haven't noticed them yet but there is a a person that is very significant in your life that is going to upbring you into your life is going to lift you up it's going to bring you new projects and new opportunities so i see that through the person that is around uh, your job area and your career area is a person that can really elevate your career further okay with this person's help you can really go somewhere up so you really have to see who is that person think about that maybe it's a uh, um, fellow student maybe it's a partner in in work or at your job that can really you create a very meaningful connection that connection will bring so many new projects as the spider suggests because it says creative projects so through those creative projects you can really reach very high high ends now let's take a look at this 10 of a swords uh, card Okay, so for the ones that were expecting love relationships, for me, it's a clear sign that don't expect any romantic relationships or any romantic move from this person because it's not, it's not that. That person doesn't want that and doesn't see you as a romantic partner, let's say this way, if you have those expectations. So it's also really managing within yourself what kind of expectations I create towards people. Maybe I see a person one way, but actually I don't see what the person really is maybe i misread their signs or their actions towards me and i imagine something that is not real so this is something like a mantra that you have to do for yourself and say uh, i want to see things clear i want to see people as they are not as i wish them to be so illusions apart this is very important message through uh, the spread now we have also the page of uh, swords in here as well so this is again like a creative project it's a mind thing happening so it's like ideas it's opportunities it's creation it's action it's going through your head it's going through your brain so what does it mean it means that with this person's help and in conjunction with this person in this kind of part partnership you will be creating very uh, striking forward projects and striking forward career and striking forward ideas which means that will bring you to the next level of your career and your self-being as well now, I feel that sometimes you feel a little bit hesitant to make actions or to take steps forward. You're a little bit of a person who relies a little bit too much on others to make an action. So that being said, that you are waiting for a person to almost like push you into your future or push you into the action. And you kind of prefer someone almost to motivate you because I feel that you have so many ideas, so many plans, so many actions, but feels like you feel like... Like I'm not really enough. I want something or someone else to show me that what I'm worth of. So this is something also very interesting. It's like your personality at the moment is not ready to action by itself. You know, like your persona is need of support so your persona your personality your your work is a need of support like it feels that you don't feel like i can do that by my own on myself i need someone else to be my partner in order to achieve ideas and you know what i don't see this as a negative thing to be honest this is actually a very positive thing because not everybody can function through only their own energy and their own actions sometimes people like you for instance 
instance, need someone else to make those actions and to achieve really great ideas. But you understand that, yes, I am a person who needs a partnership in order to succeed in my ideas because maybe my, let's say, my best skills are in one area and I lack in some other area. So this doesn't mean that I have to become a master in everything. No, this means that I have to delegate and maybe to uh, find someone who is having those missing parts of mine in order to achieve goals. And this is something very mature thinking, okay? I see this is not a weak personality, but I see that a very mature personality in front of me who knows that, okay, I lack some things and uh, in order to achieve them, I need either or a lot of time to train myself in one some specific skill or I can delegate and find a partner who is having what I'm missing and then very fast together with partnership, we can make things work. And I see a super compatible uh, relationship partnership in here, which is going to bring so many new projects, so many new doors open into life that is going to be both beneficial financially and also uh, power wise, okay? Power wise, which means that you will elevate your career or your goals into something else. So this upcoming relationship for you is a business partnership and business opportunity, a huge door to be open. So don't feel discouraged or don't stick to the illusions that maybe the person that I wish to come to my life would be a love relationship. Forget love for a moment because this is not really what you need at the moment. There are so many interesting things in the world for you to discover. So don't stick to just one illusion that you have in mind. So this is kind of the message from the cards to say uh, to refocus your thinking into some other area. Don't stuck to one uh, specific, like let's say, illusion of love. Seek for other things. And that other thing is going to be a huge opportunity of partnership to make things way bigger and way more profitable as well. Uh, I see this is such an abundant spread and this is going to work and this is going to be fast. So look for a person in your circles from your career or your university or your class that you might create a a partnership that will elevate you into a way, way bigger project in your life. So that was the reading for the ones that have chosen the hawk. I hope you have enjoyed your message. As always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, and we will see each other next time very soon. Bye-bye. Hello, option number two. This is going to be the reading on what's your next relationship for the ones that have chosen the horse and the messages accepting help from another and delegating authority. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting because we're going to be looking into your hidden meaning, meaning as well or your, let's say, rather say expectations, okay? So first of all, this is a very fast moving card. Uh, the horse, it's also a horse is an animal of belonging and is an animal that is both free but likes to set boundaries within the group as well. So to have some kind of hierarchy, okay? So uh, we will look into those messages further, but now I'm going to be mixing in some uh, tarot cards and there are already two of them popping out. So these two popped out. So this is the magician and four of wands. Very interesting. Okay. So, so far I sense a lot of freedom in here, a lot of independence and a lot of joy. Um, also within family boundaries or creation of a family or family-like relationship. So let's see whether this is love relationship or it's friendship that is so close to you that almost feels like a family. This is the first message that is coming in. Okay, Ace of Cups. Wow, that is beautiful. Three of Cups. Wow. Okay, this looks great so far. And we have Queen of Swords. Oh, my darling, this is definitely a love relationship. <laughs> this is so screaming love in here. I'm just going to pull out one more oracle uh, card so that we finish off this sequence very nicely starting from the
the oracle and finishing with the oracle the deer very similar animals docile animals okay so um very beautiful look the next relationship that is coming into your life is definitely a love relationship because we have that beautiful ace of cups opening so this is heart opening and ready to accept all the new feelings all the new emotions and all the excitement it feels that your heart is really moving fast it's moving fast and there is so much rush into your skin the blood is rushing into your skin and making your body alive so this is kind of the energy that i'm sensing the energy is fast in here so it's not just sitting and waiting this is the active energy that means the things are moving already now let's take a look more closely into the tarot cards as well and start and start seeing some hidden messages well i must start from the first message maybe uh, this is something actually positive but i would like to explain this as a little bit of of a blocker for you and i will explain why so uh what do i mean by that the magician and the queen of swords both are very independent and individualistic cards those people they like to enjoy their freedom they their power and they can do it all by themselves okay so this is really a high runners um spread okay so it's a person who really can reach anything in their life whatever is on their mind they reach it so in all different areas of life especially when it comes to career financial stability and let's say climbing up the uh, career ladder okay so it's going up as you can see both figures in cars they are uh, holding items uh, and hands in the sky okay so in in terms of magician so he's holding like a wand and then a magical wand and then the uh, queen of swords she's of course holding the sword so these people are ready they know what the world has for them they know who they are they are fully manifested they follow their dreams and they make them reality they set goals and they make them real whatever is on your mind is making sense is making real results so this first of all i must say and of course this sounds all possible Positive, and it is definitely it is positive positive but i can see a little bit of risk in here if you are a person who feels like i can do anything i want and i'm so good by my own it's also a blockage that sometimes people might see you as a little bit cold or too independent in a way that they are not feeling to coming closer to you because they feel that everything that you have you don't need anything more so in terms of a uh, relationship that it feels like you don't want a relationship you're only focused on a career or some other goal achieving of yours but not really anything um let's say romantically wise so definitely your heart is longing for something else your heart is longing for love so show that to people because there are people interested in you but maybe they have a perception of you that you are so good by your own to be so independent that you enjoy your independence and you don't want to belong anywhere because many people see you as a wild horse running free without any attachments or without any boundaries in life okay so that you are so so free that you don't need anyone else in your life to support you or to share love maybe some of the people i'm just going to light up the candle because it stopped burning Maybe some people see you as a love player, you know, like that you like to uh, date many people and not get uh, attached to anyone or not get, uh, let's say, into a serious relationship with anyone because maybe you're just, you know, a fun girl or boy who likes to spend time and go on so many dates. And this is kind of the perception that you might create at the first glance because we have three of cups card in here, which again is like so much parting, so much uh, short term relationships, one night stand. So maybe this is kind of the vision that people um, almost the image that people have about you and that's why it's harder for them to imagine you as a serious person okay or it could be again that you are too focused on your work too focused on your career too focused on uh, making yourself perfect in many different ways you might uh, you might think um, and that's why they feel like you know what you are not ready for love 
Okay, so that message out of the way because I really needed to start from it. But let's come back to the love. Anyway, your heart is so longing for love and so longing for some kind of romantic and romance in general. Romantic energy and romance energy that it's unstoppable. You can't stop your heart. Even though you feel like, oh, I'm so focused on everything else, like making my life perfect, and it is. Um, your heart still feels like, you know what, let's stop for a minute for a minute, and let's change priorities. I want something and someone in. And I see someone in coming into your life. So now for many, many of you, moving on to another message, this is a creation of a family, of a very serious relationship, even uh, expanding the family. What do I mean by that? You have so many omens of creating a serious relationship, not only like meeting someone who's truly for you, that truly supports supports you, that truly understands you, that truly loves you, and you give the same back. This is a both sharing ways, okay? Uh, you share the same and you receive same back. The four of wands is like four corners of the house, which means that you are creating a house. So maybe moving in together with someone, maybe you are already in a relationship, which means that it will take next steps with this reading, okay? It means that you will move forward. So maybe you will start living together or you will get married or um, let's say legally involved into some kind of further family creation, which means signing papers, um, buying a house together or creating a family. This also means a children because three of cups many times means a pregnancy news or happy news or uh, maybe becoming uh, a serious couple in a way that someone is going to pr propose um, <laughs> I forgot the word it's a propose um, to ask your hand my god um, my words are mixing and it's a little bit difficult to speak today. So yeah, this means that someone is going to ask your hand, maybe bring your ring or something like that. You know, I don't want to speak about those specific things because um, it's so, so general. I mean, this reading is general. That's why I can't really give you very specific details. But like if I would be speaking to you personally, you know, if it was the personal reading, I would say definitely if you have a person in your life and it's going great, you know, the relationship is going great, it will go even better. So I see commitment, I see marriage. Many times this is a celebration of marriage. Uh, so it's a wedding and so on. So the only trigger that I see in here that is a little bit of the Queen of Swords mode, a little bit coldness in here, a little bit too independent, let people in. And this is something very interesting because these two cards also, they uh, mirror each other, the horses delegating authority. And the Queen of Swords, she's the last one to delegate anything. She really, really wants to hold everything by herself. She wants to control everything, but she is a good leader. So the horse tells to the queen of swords, you know what? You are so great, but you don't have to do everything on your own. Be a true leader and delegate. Delegate small tasks to others. Concentrate on controlling. Concentrate on ruling. Concentrate of being on being a leader. Don't um, take all the smallest details into your energy and do that yourself. You know, you have to seek for people as a team that works for you. So it could be applied into so many different ways, especially the career way, but also in love. Um, let other people love you. You don't have to show all your love yourself and to create love within the relationship. Let other people love you and let the love in. So definitely this is happening. The energies are very strong. They are opening. Heart is opening. Everything is opening in here. Here. And this is really suggested to you if you are single, seek for someone, seek for a soulmate, seek for a partner. You would feel way better. You know, you would feel that, oh, you know what? I can share my everyday life with someone. And this is very recommended. You know, if you are a loner, maybe it's time to um, <laughs> skip the loner, loner uh, face for a moment and look for someone in your life because it's just beneficial. It's nice to have someone. Okay, and if you are waiting for someone, again, I see that this is a very huge omen of relationship coming in. And also we have another card in here, which is the deer. 
uh, gentleness and diplomacy again so it's becoming <laughs> it's mirroring the uh, magician card it's you know really manifesting anything that you have on your mind and your heart so your love dreams come true your career dreams career dreams come true you are a true magician who knows how to rule your world who knows how to control your past and future and you're so sure about everything so this is extremely positive reading in all different senses it's bringing abundance to everything in your life and every single area of your life so really take those low-hanging fruits first and climb up the tree because this is what you are supposed to do because you are really going to manifest anything in your life so congratulations this is a wonderful spread i hope these message um make sense to you and as always take what resonates leave the rest behind with all the readings that we do i hope you enjoy the reading so this was the option number two for the horse and we will see each other next time very soon bye bye Hi, option number three. This is going to be the reading for the ones that have chosen the owl. And this card is the deception and wisdom. So this is more like your expectations towards the new relationship, you know. So this is what you expect uh, for the relationship to be. I see some kind of maturity in here. I see seriousness. I see... Uh, seeing behind as well very deep connection so maybe this is something that you are longing for but let's see whether this is truly what is coming for you and this is truly what you maybe need i feel like this card needs to go out so i'm putting it out pulling it out it's free of sorts okay a little bit of heartbroken maybe you were uh, disappointed because there is a deception card you know the wisdom card um, of the owl as well which means you know you have gone through um, different stages of relationships that really didn't work in your life maybe you have been heartbroken for some time and you have learned your lesson you are having way more caution when you are finding new people to be with and maybe you are very cautious in relationships so this is kind of the first thing that comes in. And also I sense that for you, it is important that the person shows the effort to come into the relationship. The person shows, uh, takes also slow steps towards you. You don't let people come in that easy. Uh, this is the first thing in here. Also, we have the Knight of Pentacles in here. The chariot, okay, there are people interesting, interested in you, that's the thing. Oh my goodness, so much. This is going to be, oh, I love this reading. So much to speak about. Um, gonna just pull out one more oracle card because, um, because you know, we start from the oracle and, and I want to finish off with the oracle card as well. So let's take a look on this. <laughs> Very interesting. So, well, first of all, the message in here, you have become an owl, okay? If you were drawn to this card when you were uh, meditating and choosing the options, in the beginning of this reading, uh, this is a very wise old man card, okay? The owl is always a symbol of wisdom. It's a symbol of seeing the past and seeing, foreseeing maybe uh, the future. It's being very slow in decisions and really knowing how to test people. Why I say testing people? Because your heart has been broken in the past. Maybe it was some kind of cheating. Maybe it was broken expectations. Maybe it was a break breakup maybe it was really heartbreak a huge heartbreak in one way or another in terms of that maybe you loved someone very much or you have put so much energy and love and uh, expectations towards someone and then they really kind of used you or didn't bring the same back or just really laughed at you and maybe just not treated you well. So there is some kind of a little bit of a heartbroken uh, feeling and not only in love, could be friendships as well because owl is also um, an totem, like an image of a friendship, okay? Maybe you had a friend that really kind of um, did not take care of you, uh, did not nourish your uh, friendship. Maybe they seem to be like the real true friend and then at the end you know you were left with a heart very broken because they seem to be using you or just showing the real face that was not the face that you uh, create and the boundaries and made uh, the friendship with so 
that there's a bruised heart and that bruised heart you know what i would say it's not really cut open at the moment it is a heart that knew how to heal you are healed but it has a scar and that scar reminds you every day what you expect and not expect from people so you're being very careful when you are forming any sort of relationships or friendships because you like to see the real face of people and it's not that easy sometimes you can read them from the day number one the first minute that you meet them but sometimes you need to put them in a test and until they show what they are worth of you're not getting any commitment into that relationship or that friendship so definitely you build relationships and friendships very slowly and this is kind of your expectation at the moment i want to build something but i want to build surely slowly also because i have done many things in the past i have experienced many things in the past and now i want to make sure i take the correct steps forward in order to avoid the possible break heartbreak that i have experienced um in my life now what i see in here there are people interested in you i see the knight of uh so, uh, knight of source no it's knight of pentacles in here and is it's a person that is definitely interested in you uh, so it's a person that might be from your circle already or that is coming into your circle and will become interested in you in a short period of time this is very specific information i know but cards are also quite specific so definitely there are so many of you watching it's a very individual situation but definitely the energies at least are moving forward so if you're expecting for a stable relationship to build something slowly surely seriously um, this is going to happen because the knight of um, pentacles is in here this is a sure secure relationship and um, so far it's not going to start right off by love you know the love will grow in a relationship it's not just you know the the passion that sparks and you just lose your head your mind and your heart over a person and then you just you know start this beautiful roller coaster <laughs> passion relationship or love relationship it's not that i see that actually is going to happen what you want from a relationship steadily slowly going up and building each other in this relationship so yes there is a person with serious intentions uh, i sense that definitely uh, or at least this person will be coming uh, soon into your life you will create maybe this type of entrance into your heart you know maybe there is a person who wants to rush into you because could be also several people interested in you you know there is a chariot and eight of wands that means like a really fast energy active passionate energy that is also coming to you but you will know how to redirect this energy and to slow it down and to explain to a person you know what i don't want to rush i don't want to go so fast and it's the right thing to do trust your heart trust your wisdom because you have you already know what you want and trust that never lose yourself over a person or what the person wants from you if someone is trying to push you into a relationship into some kind of commitment into some kind of action and you are not sure about that don't do that because just to please the other person or just to fit their expectations, fit your own expectations and fit your own um, experience and your intuition that you have because your intuition is very strong. I see little by little steps going forward, forward in here. Now, um, I see that you're also a little bit stagnant in a point that sometimes you take things too slow. And you have to be very careful about that because, yes, it's true that you have to take things slowly, steadily forward, but not too slow as well. Because sometimes you can burn people out by just giving them no's every single day if someone is asking you out for a date and you're giving them no because you want to test them further or you're sending them i don't know some kind of occasions to test them maybe you're not texting them back or you are not showing the affection towards them and seeing you know how much they're gonna fight for you let's say this is just an example um it is okay to do that but till a certain point not too much don't become an ice queen or ice king unreachable and you desire a person maybe you desire a relationship but you play hard don't play too hard as well because this can actually turn upon you and burn you as well so it's identifying that you know the person that is in front of me really wants something with me true identify that understand that but don't make the person wait for too long yes 
make them harder to get to you. You know, don't be fast with everything. That's true. It is important to you to protect your own sanity and your heart, but don't play too hard because this can actually end. Like if there is someone running fast into you, and they feel disappointed that you don't respond the same way, let this relationship or this person, you know, this connection with the person to die. It's okay. If someone is pushing you to the corner and saying, you know what, I want something with you and I want it now. Let's let's make it out, you know, let's make it out now. Um, you know, stop the person. And if they don't come back, it's okay. Let it die, this connection. It's not worthy. But if you find that the person has real intentions towards you, don't slow them down too much, okay? So it's, of course, using your own intuition and to understand and read people as well. You know how to read people because the owl always knows how to read people. It takes a little bit more time sometimes, but trust that intuition, trust that. And uh, um, let them in, let them in slowly, but not too slow. Very important message identify who is who this is uh, the reading for the ones that have chosen the owl very strong message the owl is a strong animal it's a strong wise animal slow animal but very sure animal and i'm almost pretty sure that you are going to make it work anyway <laughs> you're going to make it work to stop the ones that are rushing fast into you just to use you again as it was before uh, you will know how to end that and because it's, you know, just waste of the energy many times for you, you're not in a way right now to waste your energy, but also you will feel which people are truly are into you and want to create something steady with you and something serious with you. So those people don't stop them that much, okay? Don't um, let them lose hope um with you okay maybe the, you will seem to them that you don't want anything but show them that you want something with them but just not that fast and they will accept that so that was a reading for the ones that have chosen the owl again beautiful message take what resonates with you let the rest behind as always with cards and we will see each other next time very soon bye bye Hello, option number four. This is going to be the reading on what kind of relationship is coming into your life for the ones that have chosen the butterfly. The butterfly is beauty. So how we work with this card? To me, I see this card as your expectations. So you expect a butterfly-like relationship, which is beautiful. It's very light, it's warm. This is kind of the expectation you have, a little bit naive, a little bit romantic. Um, this is almost what you wish to come to you. But now let's see with the cards whether this is going to happen, whether those expectations are valid or suitable for you at this period of time, and if it's illusion or if it's real. Let's find out. Okay. So I have some tarot cards in here. I'm going to be taking this one. It's Nine of Cups. The Magician. All right. Also, we have Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel this card needs to go out. The Strength. Okay. And we have King of Pentacles. Okay. You know what? I will just add one more card because I have a feeling this needs to go. Just an urge from me that feels this needs to go. The Imperial. I will put it here next to the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see if you can see both cards clearly. Like that maybe you will see them better. Okay. Yes, don't ask me why. I know that this card needs to go on the table. I don't have any explanation. It's just a feeling. Okay, and I'm going to pull out one more Oracle card because we start from the Oracle and it's nice to um, end up the sequence with the, another uh, Oracle card, which is Perception in this case. Okay, let's take a look. Um, mm -hmm. This is very interesting. Um, definitely what your expectations are currently. Um, it feels like, yes, they are valid, they are valid, they are true. Um, do I see any like specific romantic relationship coming into your life? I would say yes and no, it can happen. Uh, definitely there is a relationship happening in here or partnership or friendship that will grow. That's the word, that will grow. The growth is in here, the spiral is in here that is going up. 
Something is going up in here. Something is happening in the background. Something is building up. Something is very unconscious in here. Uh, something is already happening in the background. This is the main message. Yes, you have some kind of expectations. Maybe you imagine beautiful, romantic, uh, almost movie-like love or relationship coming into your life. You know, just a connection. doesn't always have to be love. Of course, love is sometimes over <laughs> overrated and we have to look into other things other things in our life but definitely something is building in the background let's see if we can really identify what's that this is a general reading of course if it was a personal reading i would be focusing this a little bit differently but now i have to see all the different scenarios and try to explain you what i see in here so that many of you can suit uh, this message to your life okay so well i will give you just some examples what i see in here could be happening and then you apply what feels the right to you First thing, I kind of sense that you might be having something at your work or in a, where you study, for instance, or your work, some, something like a professional environment that is starting to look at you a little bit more in a serious way. Not necessarily love way, but maybe noticing your talent or noticing that you are worth of something bigger. So it could be a boss that is looking into you and thinking that, okay, this girl or boy really has something. They have a hidden talent and we want to explore that. So this means either you would be reaching quite interesting opportunities within your professional area, which would allow you to grow into something bigger and to manifest your talent fully or to bring you, let's say, more financial stability because I see upgrades here. Many of these cards, to be honest, all of them, they are upgrades. Upgrade, 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 and upgrade. So definitely it's going up. Uh, and many times in finances, because I see that the work that you have put into your, uh, let's say, work or your studies are going to be paid off, is going to be paid off. The results are going to be paid off. And someone is noticing that already. Um, so don't feel discouraged if right now you don't feel that that you have reached the position that you wanted, give it time, give it patience, because you are being valued already in the background, okay? Why I say in the background? There is something in here that is not really seen at the moment. It's happening, but you don't see that. And maybe it's the... What is actually um, messing things up is the butterfly. Maybe you're still a little bit too naive and... You feel like people are not noticing you and maybe you're focused right now into to some other things like dreaming or, you know, just having a nice time and all the work that you have put in the past, you feel like, oh, you know, it's okay. They don't see that now. It's okay. I will wait. It could be something like that, huh? but people are already noticing you. Um, you are quite lighthearted at the moment. You're a little bit floating right now. I feel there is some, some kind of lightweight energy about you. So maybe you are a little bit defocused and maybe you have... Um, shifted a little bit from working hard to dreaming more or something like that. Or maybe you have expectations that, let's say, the work that you do is not as serious as you might think. Maybe you're just doing, I don't know, just an example, some kind of internship and you feel like, ah, you know what, it's just to fill the time and it's not really meaning anything. So don't be mistaken. The value is in small details. The real meaning is in small details. So maybe you even are working right now that you feel not very significant work. It is actually way more significant than you think it is. And people are already noticing it and they are preparing you for something. This is one of the things, the first things that I see in here. Some kind of authority is preparing you for something bigger. Now, for the ones that are, let's say, freelancers or working on their own or just building their career, starting to build in some specific way, maybe more individualistic way career, definitely the growth is in the future. The growth is your next step. Not that long future, actually. You don't have to wait that much. I see that you will be very satisfied with the results um, of your work. And it's very likely that you will make a bond with some kind of important figure in your life. Could be both almost paternal figure or like a boss figure or someone way older than you, I sense. 
that is going to help you to elevate um, your career further. So this is, again, I'm focusing a lot on career because this is the first message that is coming with so many pentacles and that magician card and the imperial. I mean, we can't we can't avoid these cards. This is, this is such a huge career growth. So for the ones that are seeking for partnerships or connections that will help uh, you to grow in your career, this is definitely the best omen you can get because this is definitely going to happen. You will manifest in the most unexpected ways with so much abundance that is going to overwhelm you. This is so unexpected, but this is definitely, I, I see so much of the growth in here in both finances and power and intelligence and opportunities and going bigger, way bigger beyond your expectations. So don't feel or uh, see yourself as a little one or as, um, let's say, not significant one. Even if you right now in a situation that is not very, you feel like it's not a significant work that I do. Don't get mistaken by that. Uh, it's just, it just seems this way, but it's way bigger than it is. Okay. Now, there is another thing in here. I see that you have some kind of, maybe you will have some kind of urge to uh, open a new path only for yourself. So maybe you do some kind of work and with the help with of a mentor. So this could be like a your new relationship, new partnership, a mentor that is coming into your life. You will upgrade yourself like way more. You would skip several steps and you would go way higher than expected. So seek for a mentor. Now, if we come back to the love relationships, would you ask, uh, can you ask me, uh, would this be a love relationship? Is it a possible love relationship coming out of this? Yes, it is possible, but not so fast. You might be kind of uh, meeting a person that is a little bit older, that is a little bit more higher up in the hierarchy of yours, um, different area that you are in, and then you would form something out of it, but later on. So far, I don't see that. Is there a possibility? If you really want this to be love, it could be love because you are the magician. You can make any relationship into any relationship you want, okay? Um, but is it needed now? Is it something that you should be focusing on now? Don't look for love right now. Don't look for romance right now. You have so many other things to do in your life before that. Love will come. Everything will come. Don't worry. But I see so many unused opportunities right now in front of you that it would be such a pity if you would um, become a butterfly right now and have these expectations like floating around you know and just looking for a new flower to land on and it's so beautiful so fragrant and so many beautiful colored flowers no 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 be more um focused on the real life on the ground that you have under your feet and not in the clouds move your head away from the clouds if this is kind of what you are feeling at the moment if you're feeling like a warrior right now oh you know what i want to take this and do this i have this idea you know what not to, why not to try it definitely do so but you need some kind of mentor or mentor or hire a person maybe that could um, bring you more financial support into your ideas or maybe you feel like I want to open something by my own, something similar, definitely look for someone that could help you. It could be your parents that could help you. It could be a financial sponsor that could help you. It could be your boss that could help you. Maybe you have opportunities at your work. Definitely, you would be creating very powerful connections. This is the thing. You would be making so many powerful connections with people that are at the moment higher than you, let's say, in a way of their position okay but soon you will be in their level because you are the magician and you are surrounded by very very wise old men that hold the power but this doesn't mean that they are wiser than you you are as wise as talented as they are but you still don't have the power as these people have so make uh, a connection with them make alliance with them and this is i kind of see a very important power triangle in here that is going to wow it's it's a huge it's a huge blast. It's an explosion here of power. So why not use it? The results, the energy that you have put in to your work and in making a new connection and creation is going to pay off. Definitely. I see a huge gaining in here and a huge new partnerships. And wow, there are people coming into your life that are so important and will make you way more important as well. So again, if we come back for the ones that are still wondering about love, it's okay. Uh, maybe you want love right now. Maybe you're longing for love. 
but why not you redirect your energy into something else, into some kind of other field? This is kind of the Oracle card is suggesting your perception. See what's beyond. See what your real talent is. Don't waste your talent dreaming. Uh, make actions. Make real real action. Seek for connections. Become a politician. This is what is needed in here. You almost have to transform yourself into politician and know what to say at which situation and what to do at which situation because this is how you're going to um, impress those people. Anyway, someone is already looking at you. They are looking at you. They are looking at you with the eyes of, okay, we need this person. We need to develop this person. And there is a connection. There is so much strong connection in here. There is a partnership in here, especially in business. Um, again, could be also relationship. If you are still wondering about love, it could be a relationship with an older person from your work or someone like um, from your field, but is, let's say, higher up in in position could be maybe could be a work related romance if this would be a uh, individual reading i would say yeah look out for that because it could be that you would have like a work place romance um but definitely this is a general reading and i would like to focus it on a different way because i see this to be way more valuable than just you know playing around um with some love Definitely all is growing in here. Love is growing in here, but the business career is growing way stronger. So this is what I wish and hope that you will take actions towards because your energy, your preparation, your talent is so strong, is so shiny uh, that I see soon, soon there's going to be so many next upgrades and steps forward and new creations. You can even open a business yourself if this is what you want. Again, there are so many different of you. You can ask for a raise, go to your boss, ask for a raise, go to your mentor and say, what else do I need to get where I want? And they will help you. People are willing to help you. People have their energies open to you you use them because this is kind of a politics politics almost game and you are way worthy than you think you are there is so much talent and power yet to uh, develop yet to develop it's already starting there are things happening in the background again there are things happening in the background and many great results unexpected results are coming your way so wonderful reading this was the option the butterfly, the reading for the ones that have chosen the butterfly, as always with cards, take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and we will see each other next time very soon. Bye-bye.